It's crazy around here today. You can't believe all the activity. Come on, I'll show you what I mean. They say an eco-friendly house can't be built in 150 days for $150,000, and I say it can. I'm Alan Smith. Join me as I push the limits with time, budget, and creativity with the Garden Home Challenge, exclusively on eHow Home. Wow, it is crazy and wild here today. We got so many different things going on, but you know, it's a good sound. All this activity is really, uh, well, it's indicating we're moving along, but we've got the electrician here, so he's getting all the rough end of the electrical end, which has been so important. And we also have Marcus out here. The brick guys are getting the, the chimney on the outside done, so I'm really excited about that. We got Tony on the front porch. He's getting the front porch wrapped up. He's also been working on the exterior siding because he wants to get that done before we start getting more rain. We've got the plumber here finishing up his little bits. On top of all that, we're working on the heat and air. We're using these little mini splits. So we just made a decision on exactly where each one of those are gonna go to sort of cool the house off in zones. Uh, we've made a trip to the lumber yard and we've already started thinking about what the walls are gonna look like, the finished walls. So that's when it's gonna really start getting exciting. We can start thinking about color and texture and you know, some of the trim. It's not gonna be fancy because we've got to stay within the budget. And we've also been on some shopping sprees and found some really cool stuff at some really great prices for the interior. Tony, I'm loving how the porch is looking. All right. That looks good. It'll look better here in a little bit. I'm working on it. <laughs> I like that. That's great. All right, now what we gotta do is we gotta start thinking about this landscape and what's gonna happen out here in front of the house. Um, I'm gonna have to make some changes. Um, as soon as everybody's parking here in front, that's what always happens. That's why we had to protect our little tree here. That's our little oak tree that we've uh, tried to make sure that no one gets around. So what I'm thinking is right now, you can see we had thought about parking in front, but look how that crowd's having cars in front of the house. And Joyce would like a small garden. We've got so much to take care of. And Chris likes a garden too, but I'm thinking if we keep it really small for them, no grass, no lawn, and we could move this parking pad kind of in this space here where they could have people park, friends coming over, and then this could become garden and maybe we put a little picket fence or something around it so if we get an outbreak of sheep or something like that, they don't eat their garden. <laughs> so that's kind of what I'm thinking here on the front. And um, we've resolved some issues on the front porch, which I'm really liking the way that's coming along. And if you'll notice, one of the things, you don't see any power lines around this house, and you're not, because I really like to bury them. You know, if you're building a house, sometimes in neighborhoods or within certain municipalities, they have the ability or the willingness to bury power lines, and it just keeps everything so much cleaner uh, as you're looking at the structure. So I feel really lucky that we're able to do that out here. Hey, if you're enjoying our progress, keep following us. Tell a friend about it and subscribe to eHow Home. Hey Tony, do you think that that board, if it runs across there, if we don't put it inside?